I was having lunch in the main cafeteria in the hospital when an emergency page arrived for Dr. Tom Charge, chief of surgery. Knowing that he was presenting a paper out of town, we picked up the page, Dr. Ronald Jones, surgery resident, and myself. They informed us that the president had been shot and was being brought to the emergency room. We went there immediately, and he had just been brought in. It was obvious initially that he had a severe lethal wound. On arriving at the emergency room, uh, Dr. Carrico had placed a tube in the president's trachea to assist his breathing, but there was a neck wound anteriorly and a large wound of his head in the right posterior area. I could not detect a heartbeat or pulse, but he was obviously moribund and having considerable difficulty with his breathing. At this point, I elected to do a tracheostomy to assist his breathing, requested assistance from Dr. Kemp Clark, Chief of Neurosurgery, Dr. Charles Baxter and Robert McClellan, attending surgeons, who came to my assistance immediately. Blood transfusions were began. With the assistance of Drs. Baxter and McClellan, I completed the tracheostomy and respiration was assisted. At the time of the tracheostomy, I noted evidence of air in blood in the upper media steinum. I felt that an injury had been sustained in this area by the passage of the bullet through the neck and asked that a chest tube be put in place, which was done. Dr. Pepper Jenkins, chief of anesthesia, by this time was assisting his respiration. Dr. Selden and Bashir from the Department of Medicine were in attendance also. We noted that, again, there was no detectable heartbeat or pulse. I instituted cardiac massage, externally applied, and Dr. Kim Clark and I continued this massage for a time that is unknown to me. I was quite busy at this particular instant. I don't know the exact time sequence. An electrocardiograph was uh, attached to Mr. Kennedy to monitor his heartbeat, but no detectable activity was present, and it was realized that the present had expired.